Buongiorno, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Vincent Vision. We are here at CityWalk at Universal Orlando, and today we are reviewing dinner and lunch at Vivo Italian Kitchen. We're doing another CityWalk restaurant episode. We're gonna order some appetizers and entrees and desserts off the menu, show off the atmosphere, and give you guys our thoughts. So welcome to another episode of Vincent Vision. Watch out. that up towards the camera so people can scan the QR code if they're watching the video and want to see the menu. Hey everybody, it's me, Vincent, here at CityWalk for another CityWalk dining review. It's been a long time since I've done one of these. Today we are eating at Vivo Italian Kitchen. This is Universal's Italian restaurant. They make all their pasta here. It's a really great spot. It's a very popular spot. I'm a big fan of Italian food and I also haven't been here in a very, very long time. So I'm excited to have Ellison here with me and we're excited to make this video. Things you should know about the restaurant, it is a late lunch dinner restaurant. The earliest reservation I was able to get was for 2 p.m. We're currently eating now at 2.30. And the menu's the same, so there's not really any differences. So whatever we order for this late lunch is what you can also order during dinner. Ladies and gentlemen, complimentary bread has arrived. And we've got some giant thing of olive oil. Well, that didn't work out the way I wanted it to. It's fine. Maybe... Why is this... There we go. It's as good as it's gonna get. Very warm and it already feels really light. Good bread. Good bread. I think a general good restaurant rule to follow is no matter how good the bread is, do not fill yourself up on it, right? <laughs> order a fried ricotta. Thank you. This looks nice. Ooh. Gotta get a little sauce. Very fluffy, but the outside is like just crispy enough where you have a little bit of texture, but not overwhelming, like not too much of a crunch. We got two appetizers, so we could try to show you guys as much as we could <laughs> because we're just two people. We can't order the entire restaurant. We got the fried ricotta, which is right over here. And then, of course, we got meatballs as an appetizer. They look nice and big, <laughs> meaty balls. <laughs> they look Juicy and delicious. The meatballs look very good, and I'm excited to have them, but I'm also excited to try this fried ricotta as well. That's great. Cheesy, soft, fluffy, and just right, very light crisp. That's really good. I'm gonna cut into this meatball while I have you on camera here. I mean, you gotta judge an Italian place by their meatballs, right? I feel like that's a good, like, standard, you're right. I don't know how to describe a meatball. I don't want to describe meatballs anymore, but it's pretty good. You should try it too. So we just finished our appetizers. They were pretty great, and they were also really light, the ones we picked in particular. I think you definitely worry about coming to like an Italian restaurant and having a lot of really heavy food. Surprisingly, the meatballs were pretty light. The fried ricotta was really easy as well. I think we picked two good ones, and um, maybe they're saving the heaviness for the entrees, but we picked two of the more popular dishes here based off of the server's recommendations. I got the Italian ragu, and then Ellison got the chicken parmesan, or parmigiano, I should say. The atmosphere of the restaurant is pretty nice. It's a lot of neutral colors, very cool, sophisticated, kind of dark, kind of like an Italian rustic, but like modern feel to it. The vibe is definitely more for maybe couples or like date night if you're here. Not as family friendly as something like Tucson or the Cowfish restaurant, but still pretty cool. So far, so good. Yes, sausage ragu right here. Oh, wow. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Would either of you like fresh Parmesan cheese? Yes, yes we would love yes. fresh Parmesan cheese. Okay. And that's great. Thank you so much. It looks delicious. 
I always love the uh, the graders because I always just want to keep them grading to see when they'll, they'll like actually go through like the whole block of cheese. But that's just me to actually <laughs> do that. It's really good. I like. There's it's almost a separate layer between the cheese and the chicken. I don't know if you can see it, but. The pasta is made here at the restaurant. It is pretty darn delicious. My Italian sausage ragu is super good. It's super creamy. The sausage is just the right amount of spice. This is really great. You should try this. I'd like for you to try this. I really like the sausage. Yeah, the sausage, the sausage is great. Has a lot of really good. Yeah, the sausage. We are <laughs> throwing in the towel early for our best interest. We're gonna save this for for late dinner, right? Yeah, it is really great, it is really delicious, but uh, it's a lot. It is pretty darn heavy. So we're gonna go ahead and take these home with us. To go, we're taking this pasta home. We got one more thing left to eat. We ordered a small little creme brulee. It's Ellison's favorite type of dessert. So we're gonna have that, and then we're gonna get on out of here. Hey, thank you so much. That looks so good. Now, normally you don't get the cannolis with the creme brulee, but this one took a little while to make. I think we're like the first creme brulee of the day or something like that. So just because it took a little while longer, I added that extra, but it all came out on a nice little plate. You definitely get like an orange flavor in there. It's really good. Very sweet, but like, Yeah, this creme brulee is really great. Um, you know, it's orange and rosemary, and it's a pretty great combination. This is, I think, definitely worth the wait. <laughs> Soft, gooey, creme brulee. And that was our Vivo meal. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. Are you gonna be able to walk out of here? I think so. Vivo was delicious. Did you like it? I did, I liked it a lot. This is a really solid restaurant. I hadn't been here in a long time and I'm glad I recently reacquainted myself with it. Um, I think this is a really good place for dinner. This is like a good, we are done with the parks, if we had dinner, let's get out of here because... I could not imagine getting on like the Hulk or... <laughs> no Velocity way, no right way. Now, no. It, if it you did like a, a, like a late lunch or like something <laughs> like that and tried to go back into the park after this, good luck. Yeah. But other than that, I mean, it was really great. This is a great restaurant. I would totally recommend it if you're looking for some good Italian. If you're looking for something that's a little bit more mature, a little sophisticated, yeah. kind of less or sort of like a theme like, parky experience. I was gonna say, if you're like celebrating something big, like a graduation or a big birthday. Sure, sure. like that, yeah. Yeah, it was really, really awesome. And we would absolutely recommend it. Two cannoli thumbs up. But anyway, that is all we got. We're gonna get on out of here and uh, nap because it is hot, we are full of pasta, and it's time to go home. Thank you guys so much for watching another Vincent Vision. Look forward to some more City Walk review videos once we've properly digested. So until then, enjoy the ones we've got so far. So thank you guys for watching, and uh, arrivederci. Bye-bye. Ciao. Ciao. That is also part of it as well, right? You could say both. There you go.